Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Last weekend, we got fresh images shared from Mattel on the latest upcoming wave of figures for Moto Origins. Now, according to Toy News International, this wave of figures, which constitutes the 2002 He-Man and Skeletor, a Mantana figure, and Pig Head from Rulers of the Sun, now this is supposed to be wave 9, while the earlier batch of figures, which we thought was going to be wave 9, which were made up of Whiplash, King Randor, Digitino from Rulers of the Sun, and the mini comic version of Trapjaw. Now that wave is supposed to be wave 10 instead. Or maybe things will still get switched around. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna go with this assortment as wave 9. So let's get down to checking out the images. We get a fully carded, in package shot of the 2002 He Man. And that means that this guy is ready, right? So we should be getting him anytime now? There are some minor changes to the packaging presentation this time around. At the top right of the card where you normally see the words new for 22, you now get the 40th anniversary fall sticker. As a result of this, the Masters of the Universe logo seems to be pushed down a bit. In fact, all of the text on the card appears to be pushed down. The logo used to be just directly below the store punch tab at the top and now it's a few inches lower and that sort of leaves more empty space at the top where we literally get a shot of empty space. Now we get more close-ups of the 2002 He-Man and I have to say that I'm very happy with what they're giving us here. There's a new face sculpt, new chest harness, new power sword, new axe, new shield. I guess it can be confirmed now that they won't be giving us the specific color scheme on the weapons, you know, the color scheme that was unique to the 2002 designs. They're just going with a flat, silver color tone here uh, and actually is the silver sort of like metallic and I'm not sure it just has a bit of a glossy finish to it what do you guys think but uh, I think that you know overall if there were some concessions to be made these aren't the worst since they've already taken the effort and budget to give us all new weapons for this figure we also get a nice shot of the figure from the back this time around and it's great to see that the chest harness retains the feature of allowing you to place the weapons in a holder in the back now, one of the things that was pretty unique about the 2002 weapons is that they were all somewhat oversized in comparison to the scale of the figure. Having said that, even something like this axe here, even though it looks a little bit on the smaller side, it's still, I think, a better fit on this figure compared to the really puny looking axe that the 40th anniversary He-Man is coming with. Now, while the head sculpt is new and reflective of the 2002 He-Man, particularly when it comes to the hair styling, I think that this He-Man actually looks a bit more older. If you remember, the 2002 He-Man was actually really young looking. Um, we kind of look like a He-Man that was probably like in his you know mid twenties or late twenties at least. Uh, this version of He-Man looks like he's a bit older. All right, and uh, yeah, like he's aged a fair bit. Almost like this is the 2002 He-Man but in 2022 all right what do you guys think we also got some nice new images of the evil hot villain mantana a much awaited figure in origins and an almost totally new reinvention from the vintage figure for one thing he looks a lot slimmer compared to the vintage figure and he now has all four legs clearly defined instead of the original version in which the legs were joined together now we saw this in the earlier images as well and i wonder if the plastic bubble was expanded to incorporate the larger lower body or maybe they just found a way a clever way to just squeeze it all in there on the card packaging it also says eyes really pop out that's right it's not a hoax guys his eyes do pop and we also get a shot of the back of the figure for the first time and you can see that the lever that was on the vintage figure on the back to operate the eye popping feature is no longer there instead the feature appears to be activated by pressing a button located on the top of his head which I have to say is a much more efficient way of getting his monster eyes to just bug out. So yeah, Mantana, one of the most eagerly awaited figures of the year as far as I'm concerned and a hopeful sign that the Origins line still has a lot more exciting stuff that's coming our way. So hey, keep supporting the line and most importantly, keep buying. We also got to see the 2002 Skeletor in a carded mode and you know from the top angle, he kind of looks like he's really different from any Skeletor prior to this. The card states that he's the evil lord of destruction, similar to how the Wave 1 card has him listed. However, I do wish that they had used the description on his original 2002 card, which has him described as the overlord of evil. I am disappointed with the half-hearted attempt at his 2002 style weapons. Now his double-bladed weapon is not the right color at all, 
and it really deserves to be bigger, way bigger. But perhaps my biggest issue is that the Hairwalk staff doesn't even bother to follow the design of the 2002 staff. It just recycles the same Hairwalk staff that we've been seeing multiple times now with every skeletal release since Wave 1. And it just seems out of place here and lazy. Lazy when you consider that they put in so much work into giving the 2002 He-Man all new sculpted weapons and accessories. But somehow it seems like with Skeletor, they were just only half as enthusiastic. I feel that the colour that's used on the chest armour and all of the armour on his body is just a little bit too blue, it's like too dark. And the original Skeletor from 2002 had roughly the same colours with a little bit more definition here and there, but mostly the colours were a little bit more on the lighter side. The head sculpt is okay. It seems like the cowl is even more box-like than the original 2002 version. And I remember something funny somebody said during the recent live stream on Geek That Live earlier this week. Someone left a comment saying that Skeletor looks like Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls. Okay, what do you guys think? Well, you know, I definitely say that he kind of does look more than a little bit simian-like. Like a blue and yellow humanoid monkey. But what do you guys think about these image reveals? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear from you guys. And as always, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch all of you again real soon with more content. Take care out there.